is the Motorola Zoom 2, a 10.1 inch Android honeycomb tablet. So let's start with the design of the tablet. It's your pretty standard 10.1 inch widescreen tablet, um, but there are a few things that I would like to highlight about it. First. So first of all, the tablet is pretty thin, so um, that's nice. And they've actually have some interesting designs at the back here. So on the two sides here, you have these black rubberized type of texture. It's not really rubber, but it gives you a soft touch type of thing that makes it more comfortable uh, to hold on the side here. And if you take a look on this side here, the controls, these controls are actually flat and facing you know, upwards. So when you hold it, you can actually easily reach the power and the volume controls when you're holding the tablet sideways like this. And um, so it's pretty nice because you, you hold the, the tablet like this, there's enough level space for you to grip onto the thing and you can very easily reach for these two buttons. The only thing I find is that the power button itself is, is quite stiff. So you know you need to push really hard in order for you to turn the screen uh, on and off. So I wish it was a little bit softer. So the volume controls are not so bad. So it looks like it was an intentional design to make the power buttons um, really stiff. So that's one thing to take note of. Also on the side here, we've got the stereo speakers. If you take a look, I flip it upside down like this. You can have, you see these two stereo speakers, which which is nice, and the separation is pretty far, so so, so it's not too bad. And uh, you've got the camera behind here um, that's facing this way with an LED flash in the middle, and you've got another camera uh, on the front here as well. The display's resolution, by the way, is 1280 by 800 pixels. I find the screen a little bit yellow when it comes to you know taking a look at that stuff. So if I were to open uh, new page, you know, I think you can even see it from here. It does look a little bit yellow, so the, the screen could be a little bit bluer to make it make closer to white. So that's another thing to take note with regards to the tablet's design. There is one thing that I'm very, very fond of with this particular tablet, and that is the fact that you can charge the tablet using the USB port. So this is something that surprisingly is quite rare. You know, uh, from all the tablets that Tech 65 has received so far, the only tablet that can charge from USB is the iPad. And uh, this is the only other tablet that I know. You can just plug in a micro USB, connect it to your computer or a USB charger, and it will actually charge the tablet. Of course, the charger that's supplied you know, will give you a lot more you know, power. So if you charge it using the normal charger, it will take slower. But the thing is, sometimes during emergencies, when your battery is running out, you can just you always have your laptop nearby and just hook it in, which is a nice touch. So, um, so here you got a rubberized cap that reveals the micro SD as well as the micro SIM card slot. So this tablet is also using a micro SIM slot. The tablet also has an LED indicator here to indicate when it's charging as well as other notifications and has the headphone jack facing upwards on the top here. Now let's talk about the hardware on the Motorola Zoom 2. The specs are actually pretty normal by today's standards with a dual-core 1.2 GHz CPU as well as internal memory of 16 GB or 32 GB. The screen resolution for this 10.1-inch display is 1280 by 800 and um, you know, you've got two cameras, a front-facing camera is at 1.3 GHz and the rear camera is at 5.0 megapixels. This phone also comes with a 3G option, so the model that I have right now does come with a micro SIM card slot for you to use it without Wi-Fi, but all of your standard radios are inside this tablet as well. Now let's talk about the software. Um, this also again, nothing particularly standing out on this particular tablet. One thing that you might want to take note is that the Motorola Zoom 2 is still running on Honeycomb 3.2 and as of today there still is no upgrade yet for Ice Cream Sandwich and we're not really sure, cannot confirm whether you can upgrade this particular tablet to Android. 4.0, so that's one thing already. The other thing is that the Motorola Zoom used to be a device that Google used to show off their tablet software. So as a result, there are hardly any customizations on the tablet itself, no custom launcher, no custom widget screens, no uh, pretty much nothing. Uh, even the notification panel is completely stock Android. The only thing that is special is this little button in the corner here, which is uh, kind of faded away. Um, but when you click on this, it will open this little particular menu that allows you to get to the sticky notes application for you to take notes so I can do this and it will show you um, 
you know, you can actually draw stuff, you can write text and stuff like that. The note will not stay on it, so once you're done with it, you close it, it just kind of, uh, you know, disappears. And if you want to see the notes, just pretty much click on the open. You can access these notes from any application, of course, which is good. So sort of uh, a little bit like what Samsung did with uh, TouchWiz for their tablets. You can add notes and you can view the notes from any other application. Unfortunately, unlike um, unlike what Samsung did with TouchWiz, the notes application is the only thing that is available on the Motorola Zoom 2. In terms of applications, um, they're, they're pretty standard, nothing particular standing out, even um, though they have DLNA support with this application called Twonky, which is a, a very interesting name uh, in the first place. If you launch this application, you'll find that, first of all, this application was designed for a mobile phone and not a tablet, that's why you have this strange resolution. Secondly, this application is a 14-day trial, so you can pretty much consider DLNA support does not come out of the box with this particular tablet, which is kind of disappointing. And that is the Motorola Zoom 2, an Android honeycomb tablet. So what do you think? Is this a tablet that you will actually purchase? Is this tablet simple enough for you or is it too simple for you to purchase? Tell us more in the comments. We would like to find out more. It's your turn to rate the product. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up by liking the video on YouTube right here. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash 65bits if you'd like to receive more of videos like this. And be sure to check out our website www.tech65.org for more awesome tech content. I'm Daniel and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!